to stop him, but doing enough to annoy him so that he a didn't trust Britain and France, um, thought they were weak, and um, decided to throw his lot in with Hitler. Now that's interesting because Hitler he hadn't actually got on with. He'd underestimated Hitler, he thought he was a lot more intelligent than Adolf Hitler. Um, he was quite flattered that Hitler had copied his ideas, but um, obviously because of the Austrian issue, he wasn't willing to be uh, major allies, more willing to look to Britain and France, like I said. Um, so it's only after Streisand and then Abyssinia that Mussolini becomes um, allies with Hitler in the Rome-Berlin axis, again, which was a an informal treaty. So there's, there's nothing in that to describe what would happen in, in case of any sort of war. Um, but it's clear at that point that Mussolini is, is going further over towards his um, fascist counterpart. One last thing about Mussolini um, is that even though his his entire um, no, I wouldn't say reign because he wasn't a king, but his entire uh, time in power was built upon propaganda and prestige of military victories, and that's exactly what he wanted in um, Abyssinia, um, and it worked. He was never more popular as when he, uh, he took uh, the capital Addis Ababa of Abyssinia. However, he was never actually very good militarily, and though he claimed to um, have a fantastic air force and be strong enough to fight in World War II, he, he actually didn't prepare anywhere near as well as um, he should have or his friends or his enemies did so his, his entire uh, regime was let down on uh, his foreign policy which was not backed up by his military strength.